guys. So today we are going to run out and we're going to show you guys the easiest way to catch redfish this time of year. Super simple. It takes nothing more than a pinfish. We're going to talk about a little bit on what to look for this time of year with the water temp being so hot. I mean, we're at 86 degrees this morning and the sun just came up. So we got a great high tide. We're going to get out there and we're going to get a couple redfish caught and show you guys how you all can go out there and do this yourselves. Alrighty guys, so we got up in this creek mouth. The creek's a little bit deeper than the flat. We got a good incoming push of water. So this creek should be a couple degrees cooler than out in that flat that's been getting heated up, you know, throughout the throughout the day it's gonna get heated up. Right now it's still a little bit cooler, but it should be a little bit fish jumping behind me. Should be a little bit cooler in this creek, and that's the goal this time of year. You wanna look for cooler water and mullet jumping. And we got a whole mess of mullet jumping in this flat flat, this creek right now. So our thing is we're gonna go into the well. I'm gonna reach in here, I'm gonna pick me out a pinfish. Good little pin right there. And you guys can go ahead to a bait shop and you guys can buy pinfish by a dozen. I mean, you know, for a whole day, you only got one or two, couple people on the boat, two dozen pinfish will last you all day. So I'm gonna take this top fin right here. I call it, give it, a, I call it giving it a haircut. We're gonna trim that top fin off. Make sure all the sharpie pokies are out. And then I'm gonna trim this anal fin off. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Slop that tail off, and I'm gonna go down here to my cup holder. Just keeps the boat a little bit cleaner. I'm cutting about chunks about that size. You can go bigger. You can go. I wouldn't go smaller than that, but I wouldn't go much bigger either. Well, that's the biggest chunk you want, all right? You can use the head. I don't have very much luck with the head, so I just take the head and it's a freebie. Throw that out. All right, so this is just a pen uh, slammer, 4500 on a seven foot six calico jack rod. It don't have to be a calico jack rod. It don't have to be a slammer. I use a ton of 4000 series reels um, for all this kind of fishing. That's a 2 watt circle hook and 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take up a piece of this cut bait right here. I'm going to take the hook and I'm just going to stick the hook in right about like that. Just like that. That's all I'm going to do. All we're going to do here, I'm going to pick a spot in the mangrove line. We're just going to. Cut out some slack, let that bait drift right down the edge of that mangrove line. Make sure you drag set. And we're just gonna sit here and, and wait for a thump. All right guys, so I put another rod out with the same concept and we just hooked up. Keep them out of the mangroves. Get towards those mangroves, you wanna put your rod to the other side. Get them pulled away. There we go. Not very big, but it gets the skunk off the boat. I think we were only here for like five minutes and we already got a redfish caught. Officially caught right there, guys. And you guys can see there's the cut bait and that two out circle hook right on the edge of his mouth, just sitting there. Right there, that's a little like 17 inch redfish, guys. Gorgeous fish. Caught him on that cut bait with it just sitting on the edge of the mangrove line, like I was saying. You know, it works. You know, I call it my 20 minute bait and wait bait and wait concept you know cast bait out there give it 20 minutes you know if you don't catch nothing or 15 move on well, that's a beautiful little redfish right there guys we're gonna get them right back in the water really quick there it goes easy as that we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple more we know they're here so we're gonna see if we can't get a couple more always remember that redfish are hang out in at least pairs so there's at least a second one in here we just cast this rod back out guys and we're we're hooked back up on another red not a very big one again but Get out of the trees, get out of the trees. Here it comes. Gosh dang, it's Dink City right now. But I'll take it. Another beautiful little redfish, look at that. This one's actually been bit by something. If you guys can see right there, there's a scar. That thing's actually been bit by something. So, gorgeous little fish right here again. We're gonna perfect circle hook in the corner of the mouth again on us. There we go. <laughs> Cute little little guy. We'll get him right back in the water. See you buddy. And see guys, that's two redfish within like 10 minutes of each other. These, uh, the cut bait thing works fantastic. There we 
Oh, guys. <laughs> just literally just... That's a better fish right there. Again on the cut bait. I got a pinfish. I was trying to make another pinfish. Like, I just cast this rod out. And we got another redfish on. That's a little bit better fish. If, you, if the redfish get into the mangroves, man, get that rod tip right in the water. Get them underneath those trees. You don't want to lose a fish just from, from not wanting to get your rod wet. That's a better red. That's a better red. Step down, guys. So I don't want to try to boat put this guy too far. Just like that guys super simple super easy we're just catching fish back to back to back to back 20 20 incher beautiful redfish like there absolutely beautiful we're gonna let this guy go we're gonna get a picture of him first and then we'll let him go thanks buddy have a good one okay so we need to make some more cut baits because i had two rods out and we don't have no more bait so we're gonna make another, another cut, cut bait pinfish cut bait Sometimes, guys, if I'm using two rods, which usually if we're on a flat, I'm using four, but this, this little creek right here is not wide enough to do that in. So put a rod next to the mangroves and then put a rod out in the middle, okay? And same with the flat. You know, you're on a flat. If you're fishing, like, on a flat at, towards mangrove line, put a, put a rod out on the middle of no man's land because sometimes those redfish are out there. And once you figure out what those redfish are, that's where you start fishing because, like I said, they hang out in schools. All righty, guys, so the bite kind of stopped here. We caught three redfish real quick had i think a fourth bite that didn't hook up um so we're gonna pack up we're gonna run over to another creek see if we can't get a couple more redfish in the boat we just pulled up here guys we're gonna fire a bait down here and see if we can get another redfish or so caught using the using the same techniques that we were just doing at the last spot but we're just in a little bit different creek this spot. Water's dirty again, but it is what it is. Redfish, whoop, I'm on. That was fast. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, so, uh, not a very big one. Again, we're finding a lot of dinkers, but that was a quick bite. Really quick bite. Well, we found redfish again. Another small one, but we'll take it. It's getting hot out. Our little fella. Cute little fella. I can't believe he ate that big cut bait. See you, buddy. All right, we gotta make another cut bait, guys, because I'm all out. Tide's ripping in, so we're just letting some slack out, let that bait get closer to the bottom. I'm not running any weight or anything on it. Um, you can, if tide's really ripping in, you're in a creek that has a lot of current. Um, you can put like a little split, split shot on right at your hook to get it down towards the bottom, but you don't have to. Um, just be, you know, vigilant of letting your line out a little bit. Let that bait get a little bit lower in the column. Alrighty, guys. So we just hooked up on another redfish. Just slinging cut baits. Uh, that's a little bit better fish. Or it's just fighting a lot harder. We're just sitting down, relaxing. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm in the tree. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, that's a break off. That's what you get for sitting down, relaxing, not paying attention. <laughs> All right, right back in the honey hole. Let's see if we can catch another one. I, you know what? I'm going to sit back down and see if I can lose another redfish. Uh, you want to join me? <coughs> <laughs> Break off on another one. <laughs> it would be all over with today. There we go. And we're on another fish, guys. We're going to stand up for this one. This one's a lot smaller than the one we broke off on. This is a dinker. We're going to scream this guy in. He's going right to the boat. That's a dinker right there. Not like that last one we just had on. But it's good to know that they're eating. We definitely had a big slot fish on that broke us off. Just another dink little red. We'll get him back in the water quick. We still got our cut bait. We're going to try to get this bait right back out. See if we can't catch another big red. I couldn't have done that again if I tried. 
Alrighty guys, so we did on another one. On another one. A little bit better one. Not not quite huge, but probably a, probably a, probably a 20 incher. Yep, about 20. No, uh, maybe 18. Still not a bad red, not a bad one. About an 18 incher, no spot on him at all. Beautiful little redfish right there. Oh, there's a spot on that side, no spot on this side. But another nice fish. You know, this is like, like I said, these cut baits this time of year work fantastic when the water's hot, you know? See you, bud. When the water's hot, when the water's hot, you can't beat a good old cut bait, you know? Cut pinfish is my favorite go-to, but you can use ladyfish and mullet and all that kind of good stuff, but I like pinfish. Uh, oh, there we go, guys. We just got picked up by another redfish. That's... Get out of the trees. Oh, we got him out. We got him out. We had to wrap around the trees. Oh, it's not even a redfish. Not even a red. Look at this mangrove. Mango. Mango. <laughs> we are going to put this one in the box, guys. That's a good mangrove. Mango. Mango. <laughs> Big old mango. <laughs> That's a chunky one. And look at this, guys. I ate that cut piece of pinfish on that redfish rod. Look at that. Look at him jump out of the boat. We're going to step down here with him. <laughs> so, yeah, this just ate that dang piece of cut pinfish, man. It's, that's, it's the glory thing about cutting pin, using cut baits. Big snook, too, will eat, will eat these cut baits. And then yeah, that's a nice big fat mango right there. We're going to get a picture of that guy, and we're going to put him in a box. All right, guys, this guy's gonna go right in the box. Let's get a measurement on that first. Is that 13 and a half? It's almost a 14 inch mangrove snapper back in the mangroves, guys. Mangrove snapper, mangroves, get it? Uh -huh. Right in there. He's gonna flop around in there for a little bit. I got this piece of cut bait left. That's three fish on one piece of cut bait. I might whip it back out and put it in the rod holder and wait. All righty, all right, guys, so that's gonna end it for the day. Caught a few nice fish. Just a quick couple hour trip in the morning real quick. Me and Brandon just wanted to get out, get some content filmed for you guys. It's hot, really hot. So, but yeah, that's gonna call it a day, man. You guys wanna book a trip, you can get a hold of me. Brandon's probably gonna leave my, my stuff. You guys can look that up on Instagram and on Facebook. And Brandon will probably leave my stuff there. And if you guys like the video, drop us a thumbs up. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We hope to see you guys in the next one.